and mold continued to go down somewhat from, uh, remember, peaked a couple of days ago. Uh, Kind of the uh, the usual start this morning, so we don't have anything, you know, after yesterday's cloud cover kept temperatures down, which was, you know, we always talk about how, oh, it's only a couple of degrees, but boy, that sure did make a whole lot of difference. That, and given the fact that the uh, sun was hiding behind those clouds quite a bit, so you didn't have that beaten down on you. 79 Hondo, 79 in town, 78 in Gonzales, and 80 in New Braunfels. So morning temperatures are almost identical to yesterday. Dew points are just about as high as what they were yesterday. There's plenty of humidity all around the area, even a dew point of 76 in Catula, still 80 in uh, LaGrange, and so it feels like 86 in LaGrange right now, 85 in New Braunfels, and 91 in Beeville. Rain, there's nothing out there right now, but I'm going to show you off the top of the show. There's a couple of areas of some of these disturbances up to the north, northwest, northeast of us, and we've got this northerly flow in the atmosphere, and so that's what's going to pull this down here. So here's the uh, rapid update computer model, first of all, and it's got a couple of showers actually trying to scare up. Uh, this is initializing, showing a little bit of rain around here, and it has a couple of trying to show to pop up around the southeast down there along 37, so that's kind of a... Mm, wait and see situation with that, but later on this afternoon, it's picking up some of these disturbances moving on in here and producing a couple of showers. It's not really bullish on it too awfully much. The other computer model has a few of those showers around here and then also going into tomorrow. It wants to continue with this northerly flow coming in here and pulling in some of this rain. Now it's not a great chance of rain. 10, 20% at best, but at least there will be a couple of these showers and with the afternoon heat. It's one of those situations where, yeah, you want clouds to hold temperatures down, but you need more sunshine to heat things up to make the atmosphere more conducive to producing some of these showers. So it's kind of a, you know, which you want, you know, rain to be, I guess, the nicest thing. Down to the southeast, as far as Tropical Storm Dorian, 60 mile per hour winds right now, and it is forecast to still work its way off to the kind of northwest and move right across Puerto Rico. It has been the Tracks have been taking a little bit further off to the northeast. It had looked like it was going to be moving right over uh, Hispaniola and getting beat up pretty well, but now it's going to be staying over more open water and so therefore gaining strength. And now, uh, latest track has it as a, a Category 2 storm and heading in toward Florida by the weekend as a Category 2 storm. And it's going to be a doozy of a rain producer. 90 today at noon, mostly cloudy skies and high temperature today. Going with 97, kind of splitting the difference. Some models keeping it a little cooler with more cloud cover, but I think we'll be still on the, the hotter side. Uh, and a couple of showers are possible. Not likely, but just one or two of them out there. 98 tomorrow, and then the chance of rain exists. It's not going to completely rule out, but the chances of rain are very, very small going into the weekend. Although I do think temperatures will be closer to normal, you know, normal high being about 95, 94 degrees going in toward the weekend. And first day of uh, September on Sunday, a shower or two, like I said, is possible.